Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to scan multiple pages on this printer right here. This is actually the Epson ET-2760 wireless all-in-one printer, and this will be a full tutorial on scanning multiple pages. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, to scan a page, a single page, you're gonna go to the scan option, okay? You're gonna hit okay when you get to the scan option from the main page. You can scan it to memory, which is like if you have an SD card inserted, or you can scan it to computer with a JPEG file, PDF, email, or WSD. Completely up to you. Let's assume that we're going to scan it to a computer via PDF, okay? So you're going to hit OK when you choose your option. Scan to computer with a PDF file. Hit OK. And then you're going to choose your computer. Obviously, I don't have any computers connected at this moment, but when I do have computers that are turned on, connected to the same network, I would go ahead and I would choose it. Or any, a computer that is connected via a wired connection, a USB wired connection, I would choose USB connection, okay? Now you're going to put your first page face down. Here's just a squiggly line that I drew just for this example. Put your first page face down in the document bed. Make sure it lines up, the, the corner lines up with this corner right here where you see the arrow. That's the easiest way to get it nice and centered, okay? Close the document bed lid. And then what you're going to do when you're ready to scan, let's just say that, you know, I was going to do the last used computer that I connected with. I would hit that button right there, which is to scan it like this, okay? So it's going to scan. Obviously, it says communication error. Check the connection because there's no computer connected. But it wouldn't say that. What would happen would be that the, the scan document would pop up on your computer. And then what you're going to do to scan another page is you're going to open this up. You're going to remove the page that's in there. You're going to insert the next page, okay? And... Close the document bed lid and literally from this page right here, from this screen right here, you can then scan it again, scan the next page, okay? When you're done with your second page and you want to move on to a third page potentially, you're going to remove the old paper, put the third page in there, same thing, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to scan it again. Now, here's the, I guess, the caveat to this. Uh, because this printer doesn't have an automatic document feeder, you scan multiple pages one by one. And then what I do when I have to combine multiple files is that I go into one of my programs, one of my photo editing programs that I use, and I then combine the PDFs or combine the JPEGs or combine the whatever document type I'm, I'm dealing with. Okay, I always do it in Photoshop. Um, it's relatively easy to do and I use Photoshop for many, many things. So I always do it in Photoshop, but there are many different paid and free programs out there that you can use to combine PDFs, JPEGs, and anything else you're dealing with. For printers that have an automatic document feeder, you can put in 5, 10, 20 pages at once, and it's going to scan all of them. But for this printer, because it has a single scanning, a single page scanning document bed right here, you need to scan each page individually. They're all going to pop up on the computer that you scanned them to, that you sent them to, and then you're going to have to go in there and you're going to have to combine the files, okay? So that's it. That is how to scan multiple pages on an Epson ET-2760 all-in-one wireless printer. A full tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.